Aleppo today, and we're very happy to stand with all of you. And we need your help and your support, because with your voices, we can make a difference. Today, I'll be reading our statements. Today, we're rallying for Aleppo, along with some of the world's biggest charities, to call for an end to the slaughter of children in eastern Aleppo. We are rallying in front of 10 Downing Street to ask the Prime Minister to prevent further war crimes in Aleppo. We are rallying to ask her to punish the war crimes that have already been committed in Aleppo by Assad and by Putin. And we are rallying to ask the world to denounce the crimes against humanity being committed in Aleppo. In the past month, 191 children have been killed in Aleppo alone in the past month. In total, about 15,000 children have died so far in the conflict, as far as anyone can estimate. Furthermore, many Syrian refugees are children at a time when the portion of refugee children is at an all-time global high. All of Eastern Aleppo's hospitals have been bombed. An aid convoy going to Aleppo was bombed. The centers of Syria's white helmets, civil defenders who rescue people from the bombing, have been bombed a day after winning a peace prize. How many more crimes against humanity will the world permit? How many more? Critically, Assad and Putin's forces are preparing for a major ground invasion of Aleppo. An army estimated at thousands of fighters have amassed outside the city, of which the overwhelming majority are foreign fighters, militias from Iraq, Lebanon, Iran, Afghanistan, and other countries. They are also joined by fleets of Russian warplanes. And as we speak, Russia is deploying all of its naval northern fleet and much of its naval Baltic fleet in the largest surface deployment since the end of the Cold War to support an even more brutal assault on Aleppo in two weeks' time. This is not okay. These warships have passed through English waters. We must not let this happen, and the world must rally to save Aleppo's beleaguered civilians. Thank you very much for your support. Please keep it up. Visit our webpage, Syria Solidarity Campaign, SyriaSolidarity.org.uk, visit our Facebook page, share what's going on in Syria, tell your friends, tell your family members, we must not let this happen.